Let's look at the note repeat function. This allows you to repeat a MIDI note as long as you hold down a key. You can change the parameters of how it will behave, assign them to a MIDI controller, and of course use the mod wheel, which in my opinion is the most fun way of going about it. I have this line here, let's have a listen. Now let's add a snare to that. Now when I press a key, it will only trigger one note. Logically. So let's open note repeat by expanding the toolbar. You can do that by pressing this button here, or you can memorize the four button key command, which I have never learned, and then click on note repeat. So this small window will pop up. So right now we only get three options, the rate, which allows us to select the repetition rate. Right now it's on eighth notes. The velocity, anything from one to 127 or as played. Let's go back. And gate, which controls the gate length value. It will have zero effect to our drum beat because we have very short transients. Now let's look at some more fun options. Next to rate, there is this little arrow. So press it to expand our options. And let's say the most practical way to use note repeat, at least in my opinion, is to combine it with the mod wheel. So check the little box here to enable it. Now if I press on it, a list appears where you can assign any controller that you want. So we want mod wheel, so we are going to leave it as is. Now underneath that, we get the maximum and minimum values that will be triggered. So when the mod wheel is all the way up, I will have it play, uh, let's go with 16th notes triplet, and minimum 8th notes is fine. And underneath that, I get three more options. The first box will trigger straight notes. The second one will trigger triplets, and the third one will trigger dotted notes. You can't have all of them selected, either the straight notes and one of the other options, or simply one of the other options. So let's go for straight notes and triplet. Now what's the rate as I'm moving the mod wheel up and down? And if I play as well, So let's record something and see how it functions. I'm going to take that off, turn the pre-count on, and let's go. And if I open up the piano roll, you will see that it has generated mid information based on the rate changes we've made with the mod wheel. Lastly, you can use your keyboard to change the parameters. So click on this little box down here, key remote. Let's bring it up here. With this enabled, I can use my keyboard to change the rate. As you can see, C minus one is quarter notes and E minus one is sixteenth notes. So if I keep the key pressed down, I can change the rate with whatever key I choose. So right now I'm going to press C. It's going to be quarter notes. And now 16th notes. 30 seconds. 8th notes. And quarter notes. If the range doesn't work for you, you can grab this blue line up here that says remote key range and move it to another octave. Lastly, we can also play with the velocity and the gate. Now, since my keyboard has an aftertouch function, I can use that. So I will put the maximum offset to 127. I'm going to type it in 127 and leave the minimum to zero. When I keep the key pressed down and adjust the pressure, the velocity will follow it.
no point in doing the same with the gate as it won't demonstrate nicely uh, with the snare sound, but it's the same principle. <laughs> 